YouTube, it's your boy Rodman, and today I'm bringing you guys a fucking video. Like, shit, it's been four months already. Um, way too long. Quick little fit though. Dodgers hat, Black Lives Matter shirt. Has it, I don't, I doubt you guys can see it, but it has like the whole design on the back. Uh, you guys would probably see it in the Cold Start video. And then you guys have cargo pants. Black bands, Apple Watch. So yeah, uh, the point of today's video is going to be uh, a quick little update of my car. I know my last video is that a lot has changed in terms of the build. The car itself is different. It's a completely new car. I will make a video or I'll actually just explain it in this one as to what happened to my old one. So before I show you guys the new baby, um, if you guys follow me on Instagram, you guys have already seen this a while ago. I've had it for about two months already. It's already, you know, a bunch of mods have been done and I have a lot of mods coming, but that's beside the point. So let me start this with uh, what happened to the other one. So the other EcoBoost, if you guys saw my last video, I mentioned that I had a stage two kit coming in and it was an intercooler intake and an access port with a tune. The car was lowered. Fuck, I can't hold this camera up right. And the lens is all dirty, hold up. Um, I ended up, after the video uh, got posted, I think like a month after, I ended up getting my gram lights and Mickey Thompson street comps all around on all four corners. Uh, I ended up putting 275 40 18s because the wheels were 18 and the wheels were 18 by nine and a half plus 38 offset. Um, and it was something that, in my opinion, has never been seen before in an EcoBoost or in a Mustang in general, and like putting JDM wheels on a domestic car. So people started, actually the post where I revealed the wheels ended up getting almost 500 likes. To this day, it is my most liked picture on Rodman underscore S550, which is my only Instagram account right now. That's a whole nother story as well. All right, so yeah, um, I only have one Instagram account right now. I deactivated both Rodman visuals and Rodman, which were my personal and my photography one. I kept the car one. Uh, that's the only one I want uh, just to take a break. That's a whole nother topic. So I ended up posting the wheels. There's a car coming, but whatever. So I ended up posting the wheels. Uh, they got a lot of love from everyone. What ended up happening was I got my parts in from Cobb. I put the car was passing by and since I'm in like a pretty good neighborhood, I don't wanna you know raise suspicion. But yeah, so I ended up putting the Cobb parts on. Um, what ended up happening was they the access port couldn't read my ECU for some odd reason, uh, what I ended up talking to Cobb, and it was because I had the active exhaust. If you guys didn't know, I had quad tips on the EcoBoost, and that is an exhaust that not many EcoBoosts had because it was something new or whatever. Um, so the tune they had for the Stage 2 kit that I had bought um, didn't work right out the package with my car because I had the active exhaust. So I went back and forth with Cobb and they ended up telling me I could run the intake with no tune and it would be completely fine. Uh, the car was not gonna, you know, trip out or anything. Uh, put the intake on, um, it took me like an hour or two to, you know, install it or whatever. And then I ran the intake for like two months. I waited like two months for them to develop a tune for my car um, or for the active exhaust Mustangs. Okay, so yeah. I ended up making it work somehow. Um, but yeah, I ended up throwing the intake on the car. The car was running fine. Um, I get an email like two months later saying that um, my tune was finished and I could install my intercooler and my access port onto the car. So that same weekend, I go open up my garage, you know, back the car in, take off my bumper, start taking off the stock intercooler, threw the stock, the Cobb intercooler in, uh, loaded up the tune the next day because I did stay up till like 2 in the morning throwing the intercooler on after work. Saturday came, loaded the, the tune, ran the tune, pretty much the whole stage 2 kit. Um, after that, what ended up happening, I felt like it was kind of like, you know, misfiring or backfiring in the exhaust after like a month of me running the tune in the intercooler. 
So I, you know, had my dad check it out. He, every time he got on the car, he couldn't, like the car didn't backfire like it did. And the car used to backfire, like it would pop and I would make it pop because I knew how to make it pop. This was like, as I'm accelerating and like it's starting to hit boost, like it would just pop, 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 backfire. All right, so yeah. So it ended up just kind of like, you know, backfiring in the exhaust or whatever. Um, I didn't think much of it because I was like, okay, you know, open airflow, whatever it may be, it has to do with the car. I was literally, I had already ordered the catalyst downpipe as well, and my car was going to be pretty much full bolt-on. Uh, I had literally asked the friend that helps me do all my installs and stuff like that if I should get a tune, and he was like, yeah, get a tune. So I was literally about to order a 91 tune from PD Tuning or purple whatever it's called something like that yeah it's pd tuning um i was just about to order a tune from them a lifetime tune or whatever and i ended up holding off i was like you know what i'm gonna save for this week i'm gonna wait till next week stack up a little bit more money that way i don't spend all my savings and you know end up just broke i waited off this was on a friday evening i believe or saturday evening waited off Monday so yeah so Monday two days after I was I decided not to order the tune I parked my car in the driveway my mom calls me to move it because she wants to park hers in the garage I go outside I turn on the car and it starts starts ticking and then I didn't think much of the tick until I saw a cloud of white smoke get blown past my passenger window and that's when I like shut the car off immediately so ended up just leaving the car neutral rolled it off the garage or off the driveway my mom ended up you know getting the car through the driveway or whatever i called my friends immediately they you know asked me what's up i filmed the video which i'll post the video here i'm gonna just start recording from now so i don't have the car running way too long um let's see if it keeps on doing the rattling noise And then they told me they were like, no, nah, your head gasket's blown or something, you know, similar to that. So I ended up getting them to help me push the car to the edge of the, you know, where I used to park it. And then the next day I took off the cob parts and then put the stock ones back on. Luckily I kept all my stock parts. And then Wednesday, two days after, I ended up towing it to Ford. And I think Friday, they called me saying that it was gonna be covered by warranty, um, you know, that they were gonna throw a whole new engine and turbo into it because the turbo had messed up as well. And something about the clutch, uh, the spindles or something like that were like bent in and they needed to replace that as well. So I got all that um, covered by warranty, which if you ask me is amazing. It still scared me because I did not have that amount of money to pay if I needed to replace it. So um, when this all happened, I told my dad, you know, I was like, I'm gonna trade in the car. I'm gonna buy a, what I have now with my own money. And then that way we can get rid of that shit because it does not hold power, blah, blah, blah. And then he wasn't very happy of it. I now own this car, which is what I wanted from the start, literally one of my realistic dream cars i could have been in a shelby gt350 the dealership didn't want to work with me at all um you know they they saw i had good credit but since i had an other open car loan they didn't want to approve me so i ended up settling for this which is more than enough um, i'm very very happy with it i do not regret it at all uh, i'll eventually get a shelby in the near future and i'll definitely post that as well but enough of me rambling, let me show you guys the car, which if you guys know me, you guys know exactly what the fuck this is. Um, so yeah, funny thing is, this looks exactly like my EcoBoost, and you guys will definitely see it right now. The car I ended up getting was this. So this is a 2020 Mustang GT performance package let me it is obviously in white just like my eco boost so it is a performance pack one so you have obviously so you have the 19 inch by nine wheels in the front with the brembo calipers you guys can see right 
there. You have the Brembo's in there. Six piston Brembo's on the front. I do have my Muteki lugs that I had on my gram lights since, you know, and if you guys couldn't tell, let me, let me move this real quick. There's only about a finger of clearance from the fender to the wheel. So the car is lowered a lot. So I ended up actually, what happened was since my dad wanted to keep the EcoBoost, the EcoBoost was still at my house, but this is mine now. Uh, since my dad wanted to keep the EcoBoost, he wanted it stuck. So I ended up throwing the H&R Springs on here. So I still have the Super Sports. I still have um, one inch spacers. I still have one inch spacers on the front. And then on the back, I ended up going with extended studs and I got 13 millimeter spacers, which if you judge by the fitment and how much space there is, I might end up getting some 20s so I can, um, you know, push the wheel out a little bit more and fit more flush to the fender. But so far, I barely have one finger clearance. So far, what's done to the car, um, so yeah, I lowered it spacers i need better spacers for the rear if you guys can see that little gap i want to fill that in um, in terms of the rear i did the gt delete so it has just the mp concepts gloss black deck lid and then going down here which it's super dirty but i do have a full pipes exhaust got the big black exhaust tips So yeah, you guys can see the pipes in there. Hopefully I can like bring up the shadows a little bit, but it's a, it's a pipes bomb axle back. And then I have a pipes X pipe as a resonator delete. So technically it is a full cap back exhaust and it's also a full straight pipe exhaust. So that's why the cold starts are super loud. In terms of tint, I ended up going 5% tint all around this time. The EcoBoost had 20 but this one is five on the windows, five on the back, all around. Nothing on the front yet, but I do want to tint it. Um, so yeah, you have your 5.0 badge right here. And then obviously your other wheel, your other. And the back wheels are a 19 by nine and a half. And you have a 275 40 19 Michelin Pilot Sport 4S all around. In terms of the interior, I do want to apologize because it's very, very dirty. Uh, the interior is the exact same as the EcoBoost. So you have, you do have your cloth seats that say Mustang. I did not want leather or the performance or the premium package on the inside because eventually my goal is two buckets and a rear seat delete. But in terms of inside the car, um, you know, you have the same steering wheel. I still don't have no carbon yet. And then you have an end gauge which is the tuning device that i'm gonna use um, for my car so you have the end gauge turn on you have it turning on right there and then you have obviously your two gauges from the stock performance pack you have your lcd screen which if you turn on the button fires up ac all that bullshit, and of course a six speed manual um other than that turn off the ac other than that there is pretty much nothing too special um i in the in the back i do have so yeah back here is a box there's another box under that towel so that is my cold air intake and obviously my filter um which is why i have the end gauge so far i should be i'm just waiting on the on lund to send me the tune for my car. When they do, I already have my friend that's gonna install it. I already paid him and all that stuff. Uh, so I will have a 91 tune with an intake and then a full cat back exhaust. I should be pushing around three, 430 to 440 horsepower to the wheel, which they come with about 460, but obviously you lose some power. So under the engine, there's actually not much done to it engine bay wise i'm actually pretty happy to show you guys because so here is my engine bay there's really nothing special um obviously it does come with the 5.0 engine cover i took it off because i love the look of the intake manifold and you know just the bare and raw look of the engine so i took that off 
and then i do have obviously the strut brace because it's a performance package so the intake is this one you know it should have obviously a cone and a way bigger tube that goes into the throttle body that's why i need to tune or whatever so i'm just waiting for len to send me that they i ordered my tune about i want to say three to four days ago business days ago and they told me from 10 to 12 so i should have it soon maybe in another week and once i install that i am going to take off this sound dampening thing from the hood weight reduction and you know so you can hear the engine a lot more obviously my sound and my exhaust is illegal here in california there's nothing much done to the engine bay or the car itself just an intake tune lowering springs spacers and you know the end gauge it's a pretty stock looking car there's really nothing much to it i obviously hopefully will be back on youtube more um more regularly and i will be filming more in terms of cars i kind of want to like switch my channel i will make a video soon of why i deactivated my other two accounts and why i kind of just stuck to cars as of now this is going to be my main priority right now in building this i kind of left shoes and clothes a little bit to the side to focus on this baby right here i am going to sign this video out because i don't want to make it too long uh, but yes i know i'm dark as fuck that's good because you guys don't want to see my ugly ass face i hope you guys enjoyed this video i now made an official video of this car um if you guys like the video please give it a thumbs up if not i don't care it's whatever um but yeah this is now my baby and i will hopefully continue to be posting more on this that way you know i can make more content kind of migrate my channel from just shoes and clothes to cars and shoes and fashion and all that shit with that being said please comment down below what else i should do to the car as well as if you would buy a 5.0 yourself as always hit that subscribe button down below it would be greatly appreciated there's a wasp that's about to crawl into my hood other than that you guys have a blessed day i will keep posting my instagram is rodman underscore s550 i will have it down in the corner as always and yeah i'm about to dip because i need to go edit this yeah rodman signing out peace